Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a new report from an international team has shown how use of the CERT6 protein has extended lifespan in mice by over 30%. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what this new study has got to offer. This is a review of a piece I read in the Medical Express Journal penned by the Bar Lan University. It covers the recent revelation that scientists have increased the lifespan of mice by 30%. There's links in the description below to the articles I used to make this presentation. Aging is associated with an overall decline in health and increased frailty and is a major risk factor for multiple chronic diseases. Frailty syndrome, characterized by weakness, fatigue and low physical activity, affects more than 30% of the elderly population. Increasing our understanding of the mechanisms underlying the aging process is a top priority to facilitate the development of interventions that will lead to the preservation of health and improvements on survival and lifespan. Professor Chaim Cohen, director of the Segal Healthy Human Longevity Center at Bar Lam University, focuses much of his research on the CERT6 protein that is involved in regulating many biological processes such as aging, obesity, and insulin resistance. Cumulative evidence suggests that diet and metabolism are key targetable regulators of healthy lifespan. The international team, led by Professor Cohen and his PhD student, Isil Rockman, together with Professor Rafael de Cabo of the National Institute on Aging and the National Institutes of Health, as well as Professor Manuel Serrani of the Institute for Research in Biomedicine in Barcelona, along with Professor Ayel Gottlieb from Technion. They reported that transgenetic mice express high levels of CERT6 gene and show their life expectancy can be increased by an average of 30% in both males and females. Translated into human terms, this means that a 90-year-old person could live to be nearly 120. As well as a 30% increase in lifespan, the mice showed significant improvement in overcoming a variety of age-related diseases, such as cancer and blood disorders. They were able to conduct the same level of vigorous activity as young mice and did not become frail. Through an assortment of biochemical methods and metabolic analysis, the researchers deciphered the mechanisms through which CERT6 acts as a type of fountain of youth facilitating healthy aging. They showed that older animals lose their ability to generate energy in the absence of an external energy source. On the other hand, the engineered mice maintained an enhanced energy generation capacity from other energy storage, such as the breakdown of fats and lactic acid. By doing so, they created sugar utilized for energy in muscle and specifically in the brain. It was also shown that CERT6 activates a physical response that is identical to diets that we know increase longevity. Professor Cohen summarized by saying, this discovery combined with our previous findings shows that CERT6 controls the rate of healthy aging. If we can determine how to activate it in humans, we will be able to prolong life and this could have enormous health and economic implications. Professor Cohen's lab is currently developing methods for extending healthy life based on these findings. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. There's been a lot of chatter about this latest study in the anti-aging community. David Sinclair himself has tweeted about the results of it, about the potential for its use in humans. I'll be posting a video next Monday talking about a CERT6 activator that is now available for humans to take. So stay tuned for that video, which will come out next Monday.